Good afternoon, everybody. We are a startup company located in Italy, and uh, we are now in a clinic uh, with uh, this new and innovative biomimetic and bioactive material that is designed to become, with the ambition to become uh, the new gold standard for bone reconstruction and regeneration. Here we are talking about with patients that are normally subject to a bone reconstructive surgery. So a patient that today has a unique regenerative solution, cell bone transplantation, which is the far away the largest gold standard today in the clinic. All the alternatives, and uh, for alternatives we are talking about uh, bone from cadaver or implants made of uh, polymer of uh, biomedical grade uh, polymers or porous titanium can be integrated in the body with a success rate between 70 and 80 percent, but absolutely none of them, including uh, uh, cadaver bone, has any capacity to trigger and sustain regeneration of large uh, piece of bone. We are considering here something that is uh, larger than two or three centimeters as an initial goal. So our ambition is uh, uh, to successfully provide patients the real opportunity to return having their own original bone thanks to a material that is recognized by the body as a real piece of bone that enters the bone turnover and is then uh, not only integrated but replaced by new functional bone and disappeared over time. Uh, before describing the technology, I would like to show you the journey we made with our company. So we, uh, the Greenbone has been funded uh, 2000, late 2014 and became operational at the beginning of 2015 with a seed run of 3 million uh, euro that allow us to start our first uh, uh, low uh, scaled up manufacturing line that have been then upgraded uh, to other two step of scale up uh, and we have now a, manufacturing, a pilot manufacturing line that is able to manufacture uh, implantable material of human size, like the one I have in my hands, that are, uh, as I mentioned to you, uh, already, already in the clinic. Uh, we had a second round uh, of 8.4 million uh, uh, mid-2017, when we completed the, the, largest, uh, the, the, the study in large, uh, in large animals, so in sheep, I'm going to show you uh, some results later on, that then move us uh, to the completion of the, uh, of the regulatory path and uh, the completion of the technical file. And so we have submitted uh, mid-January uh, for the for the C mark, and we are in the process to submit uh, in one two months maximum uh, for the 510k in the U.S. through our advisors uh, uh, in uh, in the U.S. Uh, we have then. Sorry, I forgot to push it. Uh, we are then uh, running uh, two clinical studies, uh, a multinational one targeting uh, load-bearing long bones, so arms and legs, and a UK-based uh, study in non-loaded bones, specifically in the reconstruction of iliac crest. Uh, down the road, uh, we have, we have uh, uh, planned also uh, to make a, a new injection of, of money somewhere around mid-2020, in order to support the company became uh, properly structured for the market introduction that we expect to achieve uh, by end 2020, first half of 2021. Uh, the market, as you know, is pretty interesting. Uh, these are some numbers that we uh, combine also with the collaboration of Pharma Ventures uh, and only considering the application of green bone in uh, uh, load bones uh, and, uh, and, spine, uh, and spine surgery. Uh, in addition to that, uh, because this is conceived as a platform technology, it's possible to design a product portfolio that is based also, for instance, on preloading or loading on demand with drugs and uh, uh, growth factors or stem cells uh, and uh, expand to maxillo and other, and other application. Uh, why our technology is uh, unique? Because uh, for the first time there will be Sorry, there is a big image to load. OK. Because for the first time, uh, it's possible to have in the orthopedic field a product that is entirely designed starting from nature. Uh, it, it, uh, it came from transformation of natural wood. Why natural wood? Because there are some species of wood, as you can see on the left, where the internal architecture is very similar to the one that we have in our bone. 
And so, thanks to our technology, we today uh, uh, shape wood accordingly with the bone that we have to and uh, that we want to regenerate. And then we completely transform the chemistry. So, in the final product, there is no one single atom that remain from the original wood, but we preserved along the whole process the internal architecture. The result is a material that combines not only the best architecture possible, that I would like to remind that it goes from micro to nanoscale with a very nice longitudinal and interconnected porosity that is impossible to achieve so far with 3D printing because of the different hierarchical organization, uh, not only in terms of size, but also of orientation. But also the best chemistry, which is a combination of hydroxyapatite and tricalcium phosphate plus ion that, as you know, is the best biocompatible material ever. But in addition, the third very important property is is the nanocrystal morphology that, that is completely different from any other ceramic material today on the market. And uh, this is the only morphology that cells can manipulate and metabolize. The combination provides also some interesting and unique uh, mechanical properties for a ceramic material that allow for the first time to collaborate and work for, with any fixation system, including the possibility to use a stabilization uh, screw if needed, and uh, to behave more or less like natural bone in being damage tolerant. This is uh, the last properties I would like to describe uh, that is the very powerful Austin inductive uh, properties that this material have. This is a massive bone formation that has been formed under the skin of rabbits that is normally an animal that is even never used because it's a very poor responder for Austin inductive properties. But uh, in this case, the reason of this result is that uh, stem cells, when enter green bone, they behave uh, like in natural bone because of the right space, the right chemistry, and the right morphology. So they differentiate in osteo cells, and they start doing what they have to do. So they, they start making bones. And this was achieved also in the large animals. This is a, a very a, a summary of the study that we made in Israel in collaboration with the Ritz Orthopedic Institute, where in 24 animals we compared green bone with fresh transplanted bone in a classical model of a gap created in a load-bearing long bone. And monitoring the animal for six months, we have observed not only integration, but even regeneration. So that was a, 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 when there is written new bone, it was a complete gap, fully, fully restored with, the, com, with regenerated bone, having the right morphology, complete revascularization, and uh, mechanical and elastic properties already closed after six months to the pre-existing cortex. This is a dog that has been spontaneously treated by an orthopedic vet in Israel. The destiny here was to have an amputation of one of the, of the four arms, four legs, let's say, uh, that uh, has been completely restored and so the amputation was, was avoided. We have two clinical studies ongoing, actually one with already first patient recruited uh, two weeks ago and we will have the second one in just a few days. That is an international study in load-bearing long bones, so arms and legs, with gaps between three and six centimeters. We expect to recruit here 25 patients. The second study that will be conducted here in the UK, and uh, we expect the first patient by the end of, of February, it will use blocks uh, to restore and regenerate uh, part of the, uh, of the iliac crest. So we have uh, unique properties uh, that for the first time can really go closer or even be very similar to the behavior of natural bone. The regulatory path is already well established, uh, as I mentioned before, together with uh, the request for the CE mark and uh, the assessment by FDA regulatory experts that are, are uh, let's say, supporting us in filing for the 510K in one to max month, month maximum from now. Benefit is clear, so we, for the first time, uh, we are going to move uh, into the market with two clinical studies that are supportive of the use, that is normally, that it will be the future requirements uh, of the new regulatory uh, program that will be effective by May 2020, together with uh, the, re the reasonable expectation to achieve a very positive impact also in reducing healthcare and social cost, uh, thanks for instance just to avoid the double surgery and with the real new bone formed, uh, making much more effective also the post-surgery recovery for this, for this patient. 
And uh, uh, very last, from, from a, a commercial standpoint, uh, the plan is designed uh, to have uh, the possibility to enter the market by end of 2020, beginning 2021. Uh, this is the seniority of the company that covers business, science, regulatory, and quality with the panel of clinical advisors that include uh, Peter Giannoudis from Leeds, that maybe you know is one of the leader in bone reconstruction worldwide, two Italian experts, uh, and uh, Christian Candrian, which is the head of uh, the T uh, South Switzerland area for, uh, for trauma and bone reconstruction. Uh, the company has been fully VC funded. Uh, this is the board uh, today uh, where we have seated uh, people, Ricardo Braglia from Health and Investment Fund, uh, representative of InnoGest. We have also behind us uh, in Vitalia Ventures, Italian Agent for Growth. And, uh, and at the beginning, we had also some private in our seed investment that was substantially family and friends uh, and, 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 and few more. So in summary, uh, yeah. In summary, uh, this is a very innovative synthetic material that uh, can behave like natural bone, targeting uh, substantially all the needs in orthopedics and traumatology for non-loaded and load-bearing long bone, including spine and, and additional application. And I will just emphasize before uh, reply to any question if you may have, uh, that uh, the goal for us is not only to improve the quality of life of patients, but also to have a very important impact on healthcare and social costs, which is extremely high for this kind of patient. Thanks. Uh